Adventure mode is the hardest game mode. You want wood, but you can't break blocks. So you use a creeper, but you can't place blocks either. This game mode forces you to climb with boats, use creepers as pickaxes, and loot villages. Okay, the last one's pretty normal, but I'm also in hardcore. If I die once, the world is deleted. So can we beat the entire game in adventure mode? I think I'm gonna call it a day for food collecting. We, we have more than enough, I think. I like how I said I'm done food gathering, but there's really not much else to do. Like, what do you do in adventure mode? I guess I could go looking for chests. <gasps> okay, okay, treasure map, not bad. I guess we need to use a creeper to get the treasure chest. Can you tell I don't play hardcore often? I started fighting zombies with no weapon and still thought it was a good idea to get another creeper. I almost died and didn't even get the treasure, so I decided to go adventuring instead. But that also raised a few questions. Is there any structure with a crafting table? Because I don't know if I can beat the game without a crafting table. Okay, we got wood, we got dirt. Oh gosh, how do I place a crafting table without placing it? Seems like one of those convoluted quotes ancient people would say, place a block without placing a block, Sun Tzu. <laughs> so I couldn't place any blocks, but at least I could use a flint and steel, said the liar. No, no, of course not. You can't even light grass on fire. But I did find out I could use a bow and we could pick berries. So you gotta take what you can get. What did I do with this information? Well, I found a fox and gave it flint and steel. I don't really know where I was going with it, but he did pick it up for a second. If we're gonna beat the game, we gotta go to the nether, which means we need to build another portal. But remember, we can't place blocks or break blocks. So what I really need is a bow. Bucket. The only place I know to get a bucket is a village. <gasps> no way. Oh, I can trade. I can trade leather. Hello, fine sir. I have some of the finest leather in the nation. Oh, I don't even have enough leather. Dang it. I got a few carrots from the ruined portal, but the village didn't have much, so I went adventuring instead. No wonder they call it adventure mode. Come on, doggy. Oh, let's go. I have a companion now. We just need a name. Some of you guys might not like this name. For my all of my tools, I just put a period for their name or like a quotations. And so you, you're going to be hashtag. I think that's a fire name. Hashtag the dog. And I've never been such a nomad. <gasps> that's a spruce village. <laughs> what do you have? What do you have? Oh my gosh. I've been walking around for an... Hour. Can I make a bucket? Can I make a bucket? Oh my gosh, I can make a bucket. Please, please tell me I can pick up. You can't pick up water with a bucket. Eventually, we need another way to enter the nether, but we still have a crafting table. This is huge. I can turn that into a gold bar. Um, oh, I can make a boat. Arrows. As much as it pains me, I think we might just have to throw this bucket away because it's pointless. Can I shear? Oh, I can shear that. Okay. Yo, 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 campfires. You know what this means? Oh, we can cook. We can cook. Thank you, sir. Oh, I could make a shield. Oh my gosh, why did I not think of that earlier? I have just enough resources. Oh my gosh. Not gonna lie, the bucket mechanic really sucks, but we had a shield now, and it was as good as time as any to try to get some mob loot. Okay, I might regret this. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. The shield is saving my life right now. Oh, you. You can be my new friend. Yes. <gasps> yes. <laughs> we have an army. Okay, so we got hashtag. We'll do a pop. This is the point in adventure mode where everybody has failed. Getting to the nether. You can't mine obsidian and you can't place obsidian. Heck, you can't even use a water bucket to make a portal. Everyone on the internet says it's impossible. Every playthrough has to cheat to get to the nether. Even large YouTubers like SB737 had to cheat to make a portal. Sure, you could find a perfect seed where a ruined portal is already made. But I found something that nobody seems to have noticed. Adventure mode has been around for almost a decade. And in that time, there have been many updates. There is one version of adventure mode where buckets can be used. Version 1.4.2. If I can get to that version, I can make a portal. But converting my world to 1.4 has a load of consequences. It'll delete all my items and entirely corrupt the world. But a tip I learned from this YouTube video is that if you travel 200 blocks away, you can successfully switch your game, keep all of your old items safe, and play on the oldest version. So with this in mind, I began downgrading my world. 
First, we convert the world to 1.8. This is pretty easy, we just copy and paste the world. We're like in Minecraft limbo. The world isn't in the right version, but it's required so that it doesn't corrupt. Converting it to 1.4 is where the problems start to happen. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Uh-oh. I think it crashed. <laughs> Crap. I eventually got it working, but I had to leave all of my items behind in an unloaded chunk. Which means I have to start all over, get a bucket, and make a nether portal. The first sign of progress came with a village. I got inside one of the houses, but it was the middle of the night, and a zombie started breaking down the door. This version- No! Dude! Dude! Get- Get out of here! Oh, this is quite the predicament I'm in. Three hearts, starving, and surrounded by monsters. I'm so stupid. I am so stupid. I need that food. Oh my gosh. Oh my muff, dude. Okay, let's go check out this blacksmith. Um, that would have been useful earlier. It was a start, but no bucket, which meant more adventure. This village didn't have buckets either, but a closer look at the wiki revealed that any block can be mined with the correct tool. This means I can mine stone with a pickaxe and chop trees with an axe. Which begs the question, why didn't I do this whole thing in 1.4? Well, it doesn't matter because we still need to get wood to make the tools, which means we need a creeper. Oh my gosh. Yes! <laughs> I used those three logs to help make a bucket. Now all we need is a lava pool. So I still need to find a lava pool then. Wait, what? What? Nether portals aren't- Okay, maybe, maybe it'll light up if we switch back to the version that we're supposed to be on. Please light. <gasps> oh my gosh, we did it. The portal was lit, but I still needed to get my dogs and all of my items, which were now 2,000 blocks away. That is definitely corrupt. <laughs> Home, sweet home, all- Oh, all of my items are actually here, dude. I found the dogs, but due to some sort of AI glitch, only the puppy dog could teleport to me. So from here on out, it was just gonna be me and hashtag junior. Alrighty, hashtag junior, aka period. Are you ready to go to the nether? <laughs> okay, that's, uh, that's a bit of a problem. There appears to be lava surrounding the portal. Can I- Oh no, oh no. Whoa, whoa, okay, okay. I figured out a way to get in. We're just taking a lot of damage. Might be no way of getting out of here. Yes, we use boats to climb. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, what do I need to find? I need to find a fortress and I need to get a lot more pearls. The thing I'm most concerned about is getting to a spot where I can't get out. <gasps> no, no, my boat. I only have one boat left, no! Dude, if I lose this boat, I am done for. Oh, that <laughs> jump was so scary. I'm so, so, so dumb. <gasps> yes! Oh, we found one. Uh, I think that's a blaze spawner too. How do I even get up there? Are you kidding me? My shield broke! How am I supposed to survive? Okay, we're out of here with eight. This axe is gonna break pretty soon. Oh, yep, there it goes. 16 pearls, guys. Finding a stronghold. That's gonna be a little tricky as well. I gotta find like an ocean exposed one. I got a potion of fire resistance and left the nether. But I almost died. This world was getting so laggy after changing versions multiple what times. The crap? If you want a good world, don't do that. Regardless of the corruption, it was time to find the stronghold. Lag, it made me throw too. Somewhere along the way, my dog stopped teleporting to me, but we did find the stronghold. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we can't dig, but we do have flint and steel, and creepers do exist. Come this way. Yes. Okay, that was good. This is such a bad idea. Oh! Okay! 
<laughs> the only problem with the creeper method is that I could be doing it in the completely wrong spot. So I loaded replay mod, which is where I got all my cinematic shots, and I indeed was blowing up in the wrong spot. But I also found a spot where there's only a couple layers of dirt leading into a ravine. If I could get a creeper to explode here, we could follow the caves to the stronghold. We go in. Yes. Okay, that was good. That was good. Yes. Okay, guys, I think we can actually do this. Feather falling four, right? Yeah, okay, we're totally fine. I want to save all of my sword durability for the dragon. Down here in this cave, there is one block that is connected to another cave, like kitty corner. So if I use an ender pearl, I can go to the other cave. So I had to ender pearl to here, right? Because we can't place blocks or anything. If I place a boat here and paddle. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. So we're in the cave. We're at Y level 11, diamond level. Somewhere in here, there's a connection to the stronghold. Now we just need to find the portal. Wait up. Oh, 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 gosh, oh, gosh. Ooh, more diamonds. If only I had a crafting table. Maybe. Let's go. Let's go. I have to deal with silverfish now. Oh no. <laughs> um, um, retreat, retreat, retreat. I can't break the spawner. And of course, I, I can't, you know, actually place the eyes of Ender. Turns out you can do it in 1.4, but as we've learned, converting new versions to old versions has a lot of problems. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Thankfully, that was a backup. When converting to 112, the world generation changes, so I got stuck inside of the wall. I need to find a way to downgrade the world without changing the terrain. Luckily for me, there was a way. I just had to spend two hours trying to figure it out. When I said I figured it out, I meant I could get my character to 1.4. The only problem is that my entire inventory gets deleted. So I'm in the right version. I could place the Eyes of Ender in the portal, but I don't have the Eyes of Ender. A form explains this very well. When you open the world back in 1.7, Minecraft goes, what the heck are these? And therefore, deletes it. I'm doing all of this research. I have found the problem on the Minecraft website, and this is just salt in the wound. The moderator says downgrading is not supported. I then tried tweaking the NPT data of my inventory to try and get Minecraft to recognize it, but that didn't work either. I tried storing my items in an offshore location, throwing them on the ground, changing versions. I spent days troubleshooting this, trying to get Minecraft to just recognize my inventory, but nothing worked. Could I have really gotten to the stronghold with all of the correct items, only to have Minecraft slap me in the face and say I can't do it? Not exactly. Just gonna load the world, open to LAN, get my brother's Minecraft account, join the game, give him the eyes, and I think we did it. <laughs> we did it! Call my methods what you will, but I think it's a lot cooler than going open to LAN, cheats on.